acid that most of us don't know about. And it is leucine. <laughs> so I want to show you a few things here. Um, a little bit about, you know, what are amino acids? Well, you can think about amino acids as your building blocks, so, you know, it's protein. And there's essential amino acids and non-essential amino acids. And the non-essential amino acids just basically means that your body's producing them. Essential amino acid means that you have to get them from your food, from food sources. So if you were with us the last time um, on our previous um, Instagram, is I did talk about protein, how much you should be consuming, and why you need to be consuming more protein because most of us are, I think, like under muscled over fat. And the more um, lean protein or lean muscle mass you have on your body and you incorporate resistance training, the easier it's going to be for you to, um, to burn fat, balance your hormones, have more energy, um, have more sex drive, sleep better. So what I wanted to talk about today was which one is an essential, important, important, important um, amino acid that you need. So it's kind of broken down and you'll be able to find something on our website in regards to this. You'll, you'll see that, you know, out of the essential um, um, or amino acids, there's 21 of them, but nine are considered essential and seven are somewhat essential. And then the other ones, your body could be fine without them. So what I want to share with you today is, you know, how should you consume them? You should get a minimum of 30 grams. So the goal is about 30 grams of protein um, at each meal. And I know some people said, you know, I don't eat three meals a day. I do an OMAD. I'm only eating one meal a day, or maybe they're just doing two meals a day. And we talked about that previously on the other Instagram was, you know, ideally, if you want to promote um, longevity, anti-aging, um, you want to burn fat, you can start off with those three meals a day with about 30, 40 grams of protein. Essentially, whatever your body weight goal is, that's how many um, grams of protein you want. So example for me, um, my ideal body weight is about 125, 130. So I'm going to shoot for 130 grams of protein. So I'm splitting it up in three meals. I don't always get that. A lot of times I'm not hungry, but you've got to get that protein in. The reason being is there's something called leucine. There's a protein that's leucine and we don't get enough of it. And that's really important for a hormone metabolism, for fat burning, for hair growth, for nails and skin. And for me, that's important. <laughs> and also it helps regulate blood sugar. So you're not gonna have those sugar cravings. Other things um, for um, wound healing. So if you want recovery, you definitely want that. So I'm gonna show you a couple things the way I add more protein and especially getting my amino acids in. It's super important. A few ways, like I like to have for breakfast, like sausage and eggs. Sometimes I have bacon at lunch and dinner. I either have like steak or have fish or chicken, three to four ounces. I'm not always getting all of my protein intake, you know, 125 grams, that's kind of a lot. So what I do is, um, a couple different things. I use a shake, um, Pure Paleo, and it's a bone broth sh um, shake. Comes in chocolate and vanilla. Tastes amazing. I just mix it with some water or co um, coconut milk, and I blend it. And I that's that's a, that's an extra meal in there. Um, and it's not even that much. I mean, this one has a hundred calories for those of you that are counting calories. And it's got three grams of carbs and how much protein in here? Uh, this is a higher one, so this is twenty-one grams of protein. The other thing that I do is this has been a lifesaver. It is um, now chicken bone broth and they have it in beef as well. So here there's 29 grams of protein. And then if you mix that with like, I blend this with a cup of bone broth and there's about nine to 10 grams of bone broth. So there I'm getting almost 40 grams of protein. So that's another way to get it in. Of course, the last time someone asked about collagen, I definitely take my collagen every single day and it's not a complete, it doesn't have all the um, essential amino acids in there. 
Uh, it just depends on the brand. Sometimes they add stuff in there so you can get that. So it's a good source, but it's not the number one that I go to. So my number one source that I go to if I need additional amino acids, especially that um, leucine, because if you're deficient in it, you're going to get tired, you're going to have hair loss, you're going to have trouble um, losing weight. And as we get older, the more muscle mass you have, the better because you're going to be able to burn fat more efficiently. So women, a lot of you don't like to work out. Do you go on the treadmill for an hour and that's your workout? That's not the best workout. You actually will continue to gain weight throughout your life if that's all you're doing is cardio. You need to do resistance training. That is necessary, especially as you get older because bones do move um, or muscles do move bones. And with a lot of people, like as they get older, their balance is off, they're, they fall, um, and they have problems with hip fractures, so we don't want to go there. So this is what I supplement with. It's um, Amino Acid Supreme. The important thing, if you have one, let's say you are taking BCAA, so this is branched chain amino acids. If you are consuming that, you want to make sure that you look here. Um, it tells you like the breakdown and the supplemental facts. So this one has two and a half um, grams of leucine. That is what you want. So you can mix this with water. It doesn't taste the greatest. I'm going to be honest with you. There's different brands in there that they put a lot of sweeteners, but I stay away from all the sugary stuff because you see a lot of this in the bodybuilding um, field. They're, they're ta um, drinking their BCAAs or their pre-workout and, you know, everything else. So, um, but there's, it's loaded with sugar and there's just a lot of crap in there. So this is one of the cleaner ones that I've, that I found. Does it taste great? Um, and not that bad, but I'm sure there's other ones that are better that are, that are sweeter. So shoot me, um, you know, shoot me a message and just let me know what you're taking. We'll take, I'd love to take a look at it. So what do we need? Bottom line is that you have to make sure that you're getting in your leucine, at least two and a half grams at each meal in order for you to have um, some of those hormonal functions, those balances, like I said, hair, skin, nails, um, um, overall health, and also so that you maintain your muscle mass or increase a little bit of your muscle mass so that your fat loss increases as well. Once again, I'm a big one for that, especially as we are getting older. So there you go. I just wanted to make sure make sure that you get your leucine in there. I'm not saying that all the other amino acids are not important, not essential, but that is the uh, one of the foundations of how I plan my meals is how much how much leucine am I getting. Um, lots of other info. I'll be breaking that down later on with the different types of amino acids, um, how we use them in our family and I use them with patients for recovery, for healing, um, especially because I see a lot of people with the joint pain, gut issues, you know, what we used to do. Okay. All right. That's it for now. Uh, if you like these videos, please comment on that and um, join us every Monday and Friday at noon and Wednesdays we go live on Facebook with our Wellness Wednesday podcast. Okay. See you then. Have a great weekend. Bye.